we have been watching these airlines, given everything that's been happening with Boeing, how much is Delta affected by the Boeing situation? Well, in some ways, they've, they've really benefited from it. They have no MAX, no 737s uh, on the ground. They have none in their order book. So in some ways, they've taken some of a revenue uh, benefit from the grounding of the MAX. Now, it has had some knock-on effects onto their unit costs because they're dealing with really high volumes of traffic. And that's been a, a, some cost pressure in the last part of this year and something that might proceed into this year as well. What's the key that you're watching when it, when it reports results today for Delta? I mean, we talk about these, you know, revenue per available seat mile metrics. We talk about those traffic metrics. We talk about fuel costs. What exactly is going to be the indication about Delta and perhaps the rest of the broader airline industry at this stage? I think everybody's going to be really focused on the unit cost metrics. Uh, I think everybody's going to expect a little bit of... Um, you know, being a little bit cautious about unit revenue, maybe pricing flat to up a little bit. I think they'll they'll get the benefit of that. It's a seasonally uh, less important quarter. First quarter is historically the, the, the least important. So I think given the, the cost challenges in the business, all eyes will really be on the unit cost metrics. All right, let's talk a little bit about beyond Delta. Are there places within the airline industry right now that seem to be relative at least leaders or laggards in terms of where you see the future in 2020? Uh, yeah, I think it, it, it's been an interesting experience. So I think there's a lot of caution uh, right now across the space, across uh, the U.S. airlines in particular. Um, I, I see, I really like American Airlines as well as Delta, just because there's a lot of fear in the industry, a lot of worry about where pricing is, and a lot of money on the sidelines. And to me, that's a good setup for uh, earnings and, and then stock performance into next year, into this year. Adrian, how much is fuel cost going to factor into your models right now? Do you expect fuel prices to moderate, accelerate? What's, what's the view there? Yeah, we just look at the uh, the forward curve and, and what that's telling us. That's how we model it. Um, it's been clearly volatile, which is unhelpful for earnings. But uh, typically, the U.S. industry has been very good about modifying their capacity plans when fuel runs. So if there is uh, an outlook for fuel to, to rise very quickly, uh, the industry is very good at pulling capacity down to get recapture some of that in pricing power. Um, and that's what we'd expect going forward this year as well, even though we've got a relatively flat uh, forward curve.